Hi, it's Joanne Fiddler and I want to carry on talking a little bit more about some practical strategies for getting over writer's block. It's all very well to think about our, our blockages in interesting ways and of course it helps us to navigate it a little bit. But sometimes what we just need are some practical strategies. So here are a couple of strategies that I use when I feel stuck and I can't seem to get any movement going in my writing. There are two approaches to, to writer's block in, in terms of what you could do with it. The one approach is to say, right, I'm staying in language. I am going to continue to immerse myself in language. I'm not going to step outside of it. I'm just going to change direction a little bit. So one of the things that you can do, like I do, is uh, I'll bring out my Mary Olivers, my enormous collection of poetry, and I will just spend a lot of time reading poetry and reading it aloud so hearing the language and immersing myself in the language and not thinking about my own writing but just staying immersed in the beauty of words another way of doing that not quite the mary oliver approach but is to take out your dr seuss and again to just read aloud to read yourself a dr seuss story aloud and just allow yourself the joy of having those words on your tongue surrounding you the music of it and staying in language and it's fun and playful and also that helps us loosen some of that seriousness that we sometimes feel when we're stuck in our own writing and taking ourselves too seriously. The other thing you could do is you could read about writer's block and this is probably one of the best books that I know on writer's block by Stephen Pressfield. It's called The War of Art and that will help you to think about the issues that arise when we are dealing with writer's block. But you might decide that you actually don't want to stay in language and that you actually need a little bit of a break but you want to get out of thinking about words. So a couple of things you could do, sometimes I just pick up my guitar and I'm really, I'm a terrible guitar player but you know you can just spend a little bit of time strumming, singing, reading lyrics and singing to yourself and uh, still feeling creative but you're not stuck in your in your own writing. So there's that. If you're a dancer, you can get up and do a few dances. You could go for a lovely long walk. The other thing you could do is you can do like what I do is I create dream boards uh, sometimes, which is just taking magazines and cutting out images and creating collages, which I then put up above my writing desk. And that helps stimulate some of the language uh, and words can sometimes come back to you when you're stimulating some of your other senses. So there are lots of things to do. Use colors. I use a lot of colors. Where are all my colored pencils? They're somewhere around here in the mess around me. Uh, I use a lot of colors and I draw things and I draw diagrams and I create mind maps and I try not to stay too focused on the language at, at that moment in time and just step outside of it for a little while. So those are some of my practical strategies. And if you have any practical strategies, I'd love it if you could leave some comments um, on this video. And if it's helpful, this video would be fabulous if you could share it on social media. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.